your first alert weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Bright and peaceful weather ahead of us for the rest of our Tuesday. A little chilly to start, but temperatures as we have seen in so many other cases in recent memory. It'll be mild in the afternoon and we're expecting temperatures well into the 40s later on. But we started the day with some blue sky. We had some bright moonlight just moments ago, but now, uh, yeah, the sunshine is taking over. We have a good looking weather picture uh, for our Tuesday morning as we uh, enjoy some of that brightness with our Lewis did auto live cameras across the map. Temperatures yesterday were in the low 40s. We didn't have much sunshine. We did manage to see some glimpses early and late, but the heart of the day, we had those showers and some sleet. Yeah, ice pellets. They're much of the early afternoon. High temperatures were in the low 40s. Uh, and then once the sky is cleared, boy, this numbers really began to fall quickly. Now we're in the 20s here in Rochester. Some spots in the teens to the west. It's 19 right now in Mesa City and 19 in Owatonna. Rochester 24 to start the day. Dodge Center 21. Light north breeze feels like 14 right now in Rochester. 20 for the actual temperature. Air pressure rising rapidly as high pressure builds into the area. And that's going to bring us a sun-filled, very peaceful day. Nice uh, blue sky kind of day with uh, between storm systems anyway. As we enjoy some uh, good looking weather here for this uh, uh, first uh, Tuesday in March. 24 for the uh, morning commute. Sunshine, light breeze, chilly and sunny. I'll we'll have some sun throughout the day today and actually sun at times for the bulk of the week. Now, late in the week, Friday especially, it will be a day that doesn't feature much if any sunshine. We'll have some rain and maybe some wet snowflakes, something reminiscent of the weather we had yesterday when we had those cool uh, brisk winds, gray skies and some showers, but that is typical for March. Not unusual to have that kind of weather situation uh, this time of the year. Otherwise, the bulk of the week does look pretty sunny. Future tracks, some sunshine, a light breeze today. You'll notice that. Uh, not much in the way of cloud cover, not many clouds, and not much wind at all. Winds only around 7, maybe 8 miles per hour at times throughout the day. Temperatures in the upper 40s. Temperatures overnight tonight falling to the 20s. And then tomorrow, right around 50, a little bit of a fe uh, southerly fetch that breeze. A little more of a noticeable breeze around 14 or 15 miles per hour. A few thin clouds. Temperatures tomorrow, again, low 50s. Same situation Thursday before a storm system from the west draws closer to the area and brings a chance of uh, some rain by Thursday night and Friday. And we could certainly use some more of that. And temperature-wise, looking at the outlook for this weekend and even the longer term heading into St. Patrick's Day. This is the, uh, the latest from uh, the Climate Prediction Center. The, the 6 to 10 and 8 to 14 day outlooks. A strong probability of above average temperatures holding on. For us, that means at the very least 40s and 50s, maybe some 60s in the next two weeks. And don't forget this weekend, we spring forward, so sunrise on Sunday will be 7.30, sunset at 7.10 in the evening. And uh, it'll feel like April with some of these temperatures as we, we move along with that uh, mid-spring type of uh, uh, brightness. Uh, 40s and 50s the next week, maybe even some 60s by the middle of next week. 48 today, that's more than 10 degrees above the seasonal average. Light northeast winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. 26 tonight with mainly clear skies. And our seven-day forecast, we have 40s and low 50s for the rest of the week. All right, great to see some bright sun a couple of days here. Yeah, exactly. And we were talking about uh, you know, people you know, obviously doing their, their daily commute, but right. of course going to the polls, mm -hmm. no problem with weather today. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Ted.